Well, Eddie, two away games, results on paper that show a tough week. What's the reality been like for you? It's been a tough week. Um, but I think you have loads of those in football and especially in our situation at the moment where lots and lots of games. And we were coming in a, in the middle of a really difficult fixture list as well. And the cup draws we've had have been difficult. So but I think we're prepared to park those games and move on very quickly. I think we have to with this game just around the corner and the importance of this match. So um, we're very positive and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, so focus shifts back to Champions League. Have you tried to find a different way to help the guys rest and recuperate physically as well as mentally? I think we're always trying to think of uh, new ways and, and things just to keep the routine fresh and not um, the, the feeling of the same, doing the same things day in, day out. It is slightly difficult uh, in our current position, but yeah, no, the players have done so well this year to adapt to the hard schedule, especially with the injuries that we've had. So um, I anticipate we'll be fresh and ready to go. Well, because of the injuries, you have had to name the same starting lineup for the last sort of five games or so. Do you worry there is a limit as to what a person can do physically and mentally? I don't really believe in that. I think the the ceiling on what we're able to achieve, both physically, mentally, is well. I don't think there is one. So. We have to push. We have to push these players to give more. And I think we're capable of giving more. And I think that the physical effort against Tottenham was very good. But our, our detail wasn't and our, our general performance wasn't. So we're looking to respond to that. And we're going to have to against a, a really uh, good team in AC Milan. Well, look, some hope. Callum Wilson returning. Sean Longstaff hopefully back again. How crucial even just having those two key players back could be for this game? Yeah, every player we can get is like a new signing for us and gives us a massive lift. So we've missed the ability to rotate, especially in running. That's been a big thing for us. So they're, they're two high-level players. And I think you could see against Tottenham, they came on and made a positive difference in our performance. Um, but I, you know, I believe in the squad. I believe in the characters that we have. I believe in the ability. And um, this hopefully could be a really special night for us under the lights here. On reflection, your Champions League journey, your group stage so far, how do you view it? Um, I've probably still got the PSG game away in my head where we battled and scrapped away so well. And yes, the, the ending of that game could have been very different for us. We could be talking about one of our most famous victories in European football, but um, it wasn't to be. I think we've had some really tough games, but I think they've been matches that have made us better. And hopefully in time you'll see that strength from our, in our performances off the back of these games. Is it important to you that your Champions League group stage actually isn't defined or remembered by a penalty decision in Paris? Yeah, of course. I think we want it to be remembered for what happens tomorrow. I think that has to be in our mind. We can still control the narrative of how everyone perceives the experience to be and how we perceive the experience to be. We've had one truly, for me, outstanding performance. That was PSG at home. And now we to need to, uh, to try and recapture that form again. From what you've seen around the dressing room this week, do you believe that your squad fully believe that they can qualify? Well, it's out of our hands, but I do believe that we believe we can uh, win the game. And I think that's what we have to try and do, put all our energy into controlling what we can control, which is our performance, first and foremost, against Milan. And uh, we have to go all out to try and win. We've well, got a point there last time a draw I guess that feels like a lifetime ago <coughs> does that game but what do you expect that AC Milan will bring to St James's Park tomorrow night? Well I think it, it has the hallmarks of being an, an unbelievable game because they have to win as well so I think there's two teams that both want the same outcome and then how we go about delivering that both teams that, that, that will be intriguing very very good team very good manager um, they've got a really good way of playing the game so Forget the result for us. I think it's about first how we compete. And then if we can get the crowd in the game and, and get them involved, that will help us. Yeah, how crucial could they be? Are you looking for an atmosphere that was similar to the PSG game here? Yeah, well, I think we're looking for more. We're looking for more in our, our performance and more from, from the crowd if they can give it to us. Um, and I think it's going to need that kind of level for, from us to, to beat Milan. So, as I say, we're looking very positively at it. Can we create a, a really memorable night at home? And look, they've got their fair share of injuries. You've got the better goal difference. Do you truly feel like this actually, what you can control, you just need to nail and then everything else will be? There could be a few nervy minutes after your 90 minutes are up as to what happens. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. And I think 
the worst thing we can do is get distracted and look elsewhere and look for help because uh, the game's going to be hard enough without doing that. So um, what will be will be in the other game. Um, we still have European football in our hands and we need to remember that. So no one will be feeding scores to you, to players on the no, pitch? No, definitely not to me. I, I don't believe in that way. I, I don't want to know. Uh, I just want to focus on my job at hand. Awesome. Eddie, thank you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.